Hello guys, this is your boy Lee Solanki and today in this video we'll be talking about hosting NFTs on IPFS. Now this is the third episode on the series of the Stripes NFT. The Stripes NFT is going to be dropped on 8th November so stay tuned for that and uh, follow its uh, Twitter account, follow everything uh, down in the description box below. Uh, also uh, I had a doubt so should I deploy the Stripes NFT on Polygon or Ethereum network? This is something that I was thinking about because uh, Ethereum has a lot of gas fees uh, that you need to pay if you want to buy the Stripes NFT or sell it or do whatever with it. Uh, so I was thinking of going with Polygon. So let me know what your thoughts are on this and uh, let me know in the comment section below. So uh, in this particular video, we'll be talking about what IPFS is, why IPFS uh, is better uh, as compared to the traditional hosting it on a central server and uh, we'll be doing all of our things uh, we have already uh, created our nfts in episode one of the series so we'll be uploading those nfts on pinata and uh, i'll be talking about all of these things don't worry and uh, by the way the next video is uh, about the erc 721 contract i know a lot of people are waiting for this uh, particular video uh, i have already created the contract everything is done uh, i just need to record the video uh, of uh, deploying it so the next video would be on uh, ERC 721 contract I've already made one for uh, ERC 1155 which is the second episode so check it out if you haven't already so let's get into this video and uh, talk about what IPFS is so IPFS is actually a protocol so it's a protocol and uh, it's a peer-to-peer -peer protocol. Uh, if you've ever used uh, torrents, uh, you might already know how uh, torrents work. So essentially, when you upload a file on a torrent, uh, it gets distributed to everyone and everyone kind of becomes a server. So they start uploading the files as well uh, for other people to download it. So no one can actually take down the network and it's really difficult uh, to even block a file or to even block uh, something on that network. So uh, that is what uh, IPFS does. Uh, it actually removes the central authority of a server and uh, it essentially gives it out to a lot of people, a lot of nodes uh, to upload and download and uh, do things with it. So basically it decentralizes uh, the entire file hosting process. Now uh, if you ever host your files uh, anywhere, say if you've used uh, Google Photos, if you've used Dropbox, if you've used any of these things, uh, your files are actually backed by these companies. So they are the ones who are hosting your files on their servers and they have the complete authority to remove your files to do whatever with it uh, that they want. But here on IPFS, uh, you're not limited to that. You can actually distribute it to a lot of people so that everyone has a copy of it and they can uh, directly upload it to other people who are coming uh, on the network. So that's what uh, IPFS is. Uh, what's the use of adding files on IPFS? instead of hosting it through a server the major use is that uh, your files can never be taken down uh, it's really difficult uh, to take your files down because it's on the network and the second thing is that uh, it's decentralized uh, there's no central server that you're hosting your files onto uh, however uh, when you host your files on IPFS it becomes a bit slow as compared to the traditional servers so uh, yeah don't uh, try to upload your websites or try to host your websites through IPFS it's quite slow I've tried it so yeah let's uh, actually go on hosting our NFTs our uh, pictures on IPFS so the first step is uh, create a Pinata account now what is Pinata Pinata essentially makes it uh, easier for us to uh, host our uh, files and everything on IPFS it's just an interface uh, for the IPFS so uh, let's go over to Pinata and uh, create our own um, account so i've already created an account but uh, i want to do everything from scratch so i'll be doing it all over again so let me just add um, my email um let me put another one and um uh, uh, let me put this so once you've uh, done that you can uh, do uh, developer and uh, yeah just register over uh, the account so let's just go over to our mail and uh, finish the verification. So let me just do that. 
So I've got the um, OTP over here. Let me just paste it and submit it. So I've uh, finally created my account and uh, once you've created your account, you will see uh, a dashboard of something like this. Uh, now here you can upload your files, uh, you can uh, have everything set up and uh, yeah, that's exactly what we'll be doing. Uh, we'll be uploading the NFTs that we had created in the first video. So uh, we had created, I think, uh, 962 images or something. Uh, so yeah. I'll be uploading these uh, 992 uh, images uh, onto our uh, IPFS. So let me just do that. Upload folder. Uh, select a folder. So let's just go over to. I don't remember where it was. I think it was over here. Um, yeah. So this is what I want to upload. So uh, the first thing is you'll be uploading the images and then you'll be uploading the JSON files for it as well. So let, let me just name it. Uh, those types NFT images. And once it gets uploaded, it'll be shared all over the network so that everyone has a copy of it. So once you've uploaded your file, you'll uh, see it over here itself. Uh, it will have a unique uh, CID that you can use uh, to actually view your uh, files and folders. And uh, let's just click over here and uh, see our files. So uh, here are all of our files. Uh, you can see that uh, there, are, there should be like 992 uh, images because that's how many we had uh, uploaded. So yeah, there are 992 images over here and uh, everything's done now uh, your uh, folder is actually on the decentralized network so no one can actually uh, take it down so uh, the first step is done uh, creating the account we have also done this particular step which is uploading nfts on pinata now uh, this is uh, the step three which is using your cid uh, this is the cid that you'll have this is a unique cid that you should always keep with yourself and uh, we'll be using it in our contract so um, afterwards in the next video when i show you uh, the initial base uri we'll be using it over there so when we deploy our contract we'll be needing uh, that base uri over here so uh, we'll be using that uh, in order to host in order to view our nfts uh, with our smart contract by the way one more thing is that uh, if you want to see your files using the cid itself uh, what you can do is copy this cid uh, then just go over to this uh, gateway.pinata.cloud slash ipfs and then paste your cid over here and then slash uh, the name of the file that you want to see so uh, say for example you want to see the 10th um, file that we have uploaded so 10.png and then just press enter and you'll be able to see the 10th nft that you had uploaded over here so uh, yeah that's it uh, for this video and if you like this video then do press the like button do share it with your friends and uh, subscribe to this channel for more such content the next video would be on erc721 contract wherein we'll be using the cid for our smart contract so stay tuned for that